Hey, hey, it's Sharice Marie. And this week, we are going to talk about how to get the most out of your existing content. Because so many of us are sitting on blog posts and articles and YouTube videos and freebies and cheap courses and all kinds of things. I shouldn't call them cheap courses, but you're sitting on courses and you're sitting on all kinds of things and you don't know how to convert that and use those old fantastic resources in your marketing. So let's talk about that today, okay? <sighs> now, the first thing that I am going to tell you before I tell you anything else is if you have a blog post or an article or a YouTube video or a Facebook Live that you did that is publicly available on your timeline or on your business page, listen up. If it doesn't include a strong call to action for them to take the next step in working with you, whether that is signing up for your free thing, signing up for your list, um, signing up for an inexpensive course, booking a call with you to talk about working together, some kind of call to action that makes sense for the content that you were providing. First things first, go back and do that. <laughs> if it does, and it's fantastic, and when you first published it, you got a ton of engagement and a lot of people were interested and it was really good for your business, fantastic, way to, way to, well done, way to go. Um, and that is the perfect content to use for this strategy. So what this strategy is, is taking the date off of things if you can, YouTube and Facebook and stuff, you really can't, but taking the date off of stuff and then creating fresh new pins for this old piece of content that are relevant, that make sense, and then posting it on your boards that it is relevant to. And then also posting it on social media again. Because here's the big secret, okay? That thing that you wrote three years ago that's still really relevant and still could help an awful lot of people. Um, people who've come into your world in the last three years, they probably don't know about it. They would probably really, really, really like to hear about it. They would probably be thrilled over the moon, excited to find out that there is more content from you that they can consume that they can use to learn from you a little bit and to make that decision, that scary, scary decision onto whether they want to work with you or not. Because it's a really tough, scary decision. It really is. It is not as easy and cut and dried as we like to pretend it might possibly be. It actually tends to be much more along the lines of that push pull. I want to, I'm scared. I want to, I'm scared. I want to, I'm scared. And you need to bring them into, I want to, I'm not scared. I feel confident that this person can deliver me the solution and the results that I am looking for. That dream outcome that they really, really want. That you can help them move from whatever their pain point is at this moment in time and into whatever it is that they are looking to achieve in their life. That's it. That's all. So it's really important when I'm talking about reusing content that you make sure that it is content that is still relevant, that is still well-written or well-recorded, that it is something that um, could be a benefit to people, even if they don't take the next step. I mean, any of your content really needs to be something that a, one of your dream clients could take that little idea, that nugget, and run with it, and then come back and want the next thing, right? So they take it, they run with it, they want the next thing. They take it, they run with it, they want the next thing. They take it, they run with it, they want the next thing. Find your old content, brush it up a little bit if it needs it, uh, make it more relevant for today, uh, make sure that it has a really strong kick-ass call to action for them to take whatever your next step is that makes sense for that content 
and for who you are as a business and then promote the, the sugar out of it just like you did with your old stuff so then you are cutting out that whole content creation piece and simply repurposing existing content so so worth it so incredibly valuable for your time for your clients who are newer or your potential clients who are newer who maybe didn't know that you talked about this thing already maybe that's the thing that they're struggling the most with and they don't realize that you already dealt with this and that all they have to do is just look back at this thing that you wrote that was amazing that could get them the result the mini result that they're looking for in order for them to feel more confident in working with you in the future because that's the goal is to get you to the point where people just really want to work with you because that's the goal is to just get people to the point where they really want to work with you and they are so excited that they can't wait that's the goal anyways that's all I got for you ladies and gentlemen today have a fantastic day wherever you are and uh if you did find this helpful hit the like button, maybe leave me a comment. And as always, I am always looking for people to do um, Pinterest audits on. So if you have a Pinterest account, it's not quite up to snuff. Drop me the link down below. I will get in touch with you and we'll see about getting you hooked up and making your Pinterest account shine. Mwah. It's perfection. We'll talk to you later. Bye.